are back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more of your antiques. And we're going to start with a cross sent in by Pam. And Dr. Lori, what is this made of? Because it looks like is... bullet casings. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So it's actually, of course, shell casing, and it's a crucifix, and uh, it's called trench art. So art that's made in the trenches or from those elements or those materials that you find in the mm. trenches during a war. Uh, this one is very well executed. Oftentimes we see them and they're vases and they're pretty straightforward and somewhat simplistic. This one is pretty uh, complex and very well done. So this particular piece probably is a piece that comes out of World War II shell casings, um, 20th century, obviously, in very good condition. She didn't give me dimensions, so I don't know how big it is. I'm going to assume it's somewhere between 8 and 12 inches. Um, that's the best I can do based on how big the shell casings might be. So that's what we're looking at. Do you have any information about, like, was this one person who made one of these? Are, are there others that exist by it's the same person? My understanding, oh, yes, these are made by one person. They're original. There's one of a kind made by one particular person. Typically, of course, GIs are making these types of pieces um, you know, you know, and in off times, if you will, is there ever an off time when you're at war? I mean, no, but is yeah. this something that like a, a museum or a, a special curator would look for? I've seen them in museums. I've appraised many of them at my public events and at my on my video call appraisals. Um, but basically, yeah, I've seen them as museum pieces. They're not they're not unusual. This one just happens to be a better quality than most of the ones that we typically see. Okay. All right. All right. I said $100. I said $80. $100 is what it's worth. Oh, you're on fire Very good. today. Woohoo. Okay. Let's go to the <laughs> William Tell Bank from Missy. <laughs> oh, goodness. William Tell Bank. So this bank is a very typical mechanical bank. So, of course, um, it's cast iron. It's from the late 19th, early 20th centuries. Um, and you can see, of course, a very, very small William Tell and a very, very large uh, person <laughs> who's going to shoot the apple off his head. Uh, the tower is even quite small. So the, the scale is way off. <laughs> you know, I mean, the tower is very small and this man's very big. Um, it does not look like it has been painted over. Many of these get painted over over the years. Someone says, oh, I'm going to just touch this up. My mother was great for that. She was always touching something up with paint. But basically, that's what you're looking at. This one's in very good condition. I'm not going to lie, our monitor is very small, and I thought that that was Captain Hook for a minute. Okay. It's not Captain Hook. That's great. Okay. <laughs> so you put, this is to hold coins in, right? So you put the coins put, in, like, the castle structure? You put the coin in the gun, and then you, you push a little lever, and then the gun oh. shoots it at the head of William Tell with the it. apple on I his head. I get it. I get it. Ends, okay. It ends up in the tower, so then the bank part is the tower part. We literally so just a have a pig. That's it. <laughs> and they have a piggy bank. This it is, is a like pig. creating a show when you put money in the bank. All okay. Right. All right. A little intense. Throw it in the pig. It's easier, right? <laughs> okay. I said $45. I went too high. I said $70. <laughs> it's worth $400. Oh! <gasps> Stop oh it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so why is yeah. it worth that incredible amount? Based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold, they're highly collectible. It's fun to have a bank that does something, even though Heather That's prefers true. a pig. I, <laughs> but basically, not basically, a piggy bank for a reason, you know? Yeah, basically the idea of sort of the play, the playfulness of it is what makes it more valuable. Okay. Some of these used to go in the old days into the, into the thousands. The William Tell Bank was very, very popular for a long time. But the market gets flooded, and then, of course, markets decline. Right. Still good for Missy. All right. Uh, yeah. Last item is the Holy Family Kit from Jeffrey. All right, so this particular piece is an anointing of the sick kit. It's called a sick call kit. Uh, someone would be ill uh, toward, the, toward the end of life, and the priest would come to the house, and this piece would be uh, in the bedroom where that person was, of course, ailing. Uh, Holy Family was a very typical motif. The piece is oak and one of your favorite types of wood, David, and that <laughs> puts it to the early 20th century, we know. Um, so, and then basically inside you'd open it up and there would be holy water and there would be candles and there would be some of the accessories, the, the items that would be necessary for the priest to, of course, give last rites. So he didn't have to carry around sort of all the last rites pieces. 
these items would be in the home. And a lot of these get end, end up in attics. People don't like to throw away religious iconography, religious items. So these oftentimes are found when cleaning out homes. Hmm. Okay. I, yeah, I think a lot of people collect religious stuff, so I, I yep. was, I don't know. Go ahead. So I said 200 for that very reason. I said 120. 125 is what it's worth. <gasps> Good job, wow. David. So we so tie. We're we gonna are tie tied it up today. today. We I like it. We, we all win. Look at that. No one's a loser oh, today, Dr. Lori. Dr. We love it when we all win. <laughs> That's right. And see, you are all getting better at this. You're very good at this, as a matter of fact. All well, right. thanks, Dr. Lori. Good to see you as always. Good to see you. Have a good week. All right, you too, Dr. Lori. And we want to thank all of you for sending us your photos. By the way, you can email yours to Dr. Lori at PTL at KDKA.com. And who knows, maybe your item will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.